All right, I've got five minutes on the clock. Each circuit is gonna be five minutes. You're gonna do two to three different exercises throughout the circuit, 10 reps for every exercise, and you're gonna repeat, repeat, repeat until that timer goes down to zero. Are you ready to get started? Let's do it. Good morning everyone, it's Tracy of Move Daily Fitness. Hey, if you've just joined us, you're new to this channel, welcome here. I'm really, really glad that you found us and I hope that you enjoy your time here with our workouts, our nutrition, our wellness, and all of that focus there. All right, so if you haven't subscribed yet, there's a larger percentage that watch the videos but haven't subscribed. I'm gonna give you an opportunity to do that right now. Just click the little button below there and make sure you click the bell because that's gonna let you know when we put new workouts up. And that incidentally is every Wednesday and Saturday and lots of times there's bonus workouts. Okay, on to the workout. Grab some dumbbells, a variety of dumbbells. You'll need a bench, box, stair, chair, anything that you can step up on, and we're gonna get started right here. Again, rest-based training, so you're gonna push until you can't, rest until you can, and we're going for five minutes. Okay, the first two exercises in the circuit are gonna be a step up, overhead press, reverse lunge. So it basically looks like this. You're gonna step up, press, step down, reverse lunge. All right, step up, down, reverse, 10 per side there. Then you're moving into your second exercise, which is going to be a bent over, row and reverse fly. So just 10 of those in total as well. All right, we're going for five minutes. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. All you have to do is count reps of 10. Here we go. All right, switch legs if you're at the same pace as me. Forward at the waist, roll up and fly. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, rest if you need. If not, keep on going. Whew. heart rate up. Hard for me to talk to you guys right now. I hope you're feeling it too.
Okay, moving into the rows and flies. About a minute 20 left on the timer. Remember, push until you can't, rest until you can. Here we go. Six, seven, all right, I'm taking a quick sip, about 40 seconds left, go into it as soon as you can. I'm gonna switch legs here just so I can do an even amount. Go. 
hard for me to count and talk at the same time. <laughs> That's too much multitasking. 10. How you doing guys? Keep going. You're in the minute zone here. Let's go. circuit. The next two exercises in the circuit are going to be feet elevated push-up to a dead stop. All right, I'm going to show you the modification. Just would be a regular push-up. Go down to the ground. Basically, if you're going to a dead stop there, then pushing back up for 10. That can be done from the knees as well, right like that. Or, make it more difficult, put your feet on an elevated surface right here. All the way down, dead stop, push all the way back up. All right, that is gonna be challenging for me. Next is gonna be 10 jumping lunges. So lunge position, switch right there for 10. All right, let's give it a go. This one's gonna be hard, but we're gonna try it. All right, here we go. Push ups to start. You could even go down there, back to the knees, push up. There, I think I'll do that. Two, three, Yeah, I don't think doing it without my knees would, I, I don't know, it's gonna be hard. I try a couple, but two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, repeating. Darn, two lace, keep going. All right, let me try it again. 10 push ups. You want to make sure your back doesn't sag on here. Three. Whew, that is work. No question. 
Okay, jump your lunges. Ten. Switch to the ground if you need, or stick with me if you can. Going back there again. Okay, jump it out. Drop that back knee. basically 20 in total. Moving then into a kneeling crush complex. So on your knees, if you have bad knees and you need to stand, that's okay. This just takes out any ability to move your hips out of the equation. So you're gonna hammer curl, overhead press, tricep skull pressure, all right? So that's gonna be our other exercise for 10. All right, let's hit it. Starting with that, Runner sit up, you're here for 10 per side. Good, that's 10. And to, for me, I've got 10 more here. Crush complex here, kneeling, hammer curl, overhead press, tricep skull pressure. Now, goal is to keep my elbows in. Don't let them fall out to the side there. And no rocking the body. Good. Nice and 
with slow control. Don't need to rush through this process here. And don't arch your back when you're doing that tricep there. Nice and tight. Here's nine for me. Last one. All right. Runner sit up. Here we go. One. Seven. 30 seconds left. Let's get into that ab runner here. 13 seconds to go, come on. because it's legs, but you're gonna hold your hands overhead and 10 Bulgarian split squats per side. Then you're gonna put the weights down and move into a burpee, lateral jump burpee, so that looks like this. Burpee here, jump over, burpee here. All right, so we'll do 10 of those in total. Okay, we'll start with the split squats. Okay, you have 10 per side here, back foot up, nice high, Arms, 10 per leg here, pushing through the heels, come back up. Really focus on dropping that back knee. Good. Switching legs, 10 per side, remember here.
Oh, it's so much harder with the arms in the air, isn't it? All right, moving into that burpee, lateral jump burpee. 10 here. Just 10 burpees in total. All right, that's 10. Back to the split squat when you can. Ten. 
This is work. Oh my. Oh, that is work on those obliques when you have to lift it up, isn't it? All right, switch in 10 here. Keep that arm straight. Tippy, be careful here. Ugh. All right, Russian twist, that was 10. Next round, I'm just gonna show you how to make that a little bit more difficult if you want. All right, here, one, two. Ten. Some of you like probably more difficult, seriously, Tracy. Okay. So, instead of coming all the way down and swinging it up, start here, lift up there, come to here. Yeah, I needed a little help with my leg on that guy. Uh, I took some of the tension out of the oblique and just left it in the shoulder. So feel free to do that or stick with the full one if you can. Row and row, and then back to push up. So 
you can do them from your knees or toes. And then we're gonna move into squat thrusts. So dumbbells at your shoulders, you're squatting low, thrusting up for 10. All right, so those two exercises. All right, ready? Here we go. Five minutes, 10 each. Do your best. Count your push-ups as you're counting here. So that's two. Nice tight back here. Don't let it stay. for a tricep push-up. My arms are out a little bit. It's just hard after that plank. <laughs> but technically, bring your arms in as close as you can. Okay, do as I say, not as I do. Squat thrust for 10. Good, three minutes and 15 seconds left. Back down. so far. Well, maybe those first push-ups, but now I'm more tired. Okay, squat thrust. If that's where you're at. If not, keep going. Doing good. you got a minute 30 left. push-ups. Am I right? Eh. Okay, 40 seconds. Do it. Pull, come on. Four, three, two, 
time. Ugh. Those did not end soon enough. Okay, I got another one for you. <laughs> Stay tuned. So here's the next two exercises. Okay, getting down on our shoulders again, back with those dumbbells in our hands. You're gonna do a bear position, okay? So that's a tabletop position. Knees are bent, bum is down, back is flat. You're gonna row, you're gonna row, you're gonna donkey kick. That's one if you're doing that 10 times. That's kind of fun, actually. Next is gonna be a pull complex. So you're pulling here, row, stand up, bicep, and then into an upright row. So three pull exercises, and that's gonna be one round. I'll help you when I uh, get to that exercise to show you how to count that. All right, let's get down in that bear crawl. Here we go. So you're down here, bum is down, your row, row, donkey. One, up, up, two, up, up, three, four, So you're hinged forward, you row, stand, curl, upright, that's one. All right, row, curl, and upright, that's two. Up, curl, three, row, curl, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Back down. Your three and a half minutes to go here. Get tabletop, bear crawl position, row, donkey. Whenever you're ready, you go. You got two minutes, 20 seconds left. Okay, that pull complex. Row, bicep, upright. One, two,
know why my quads are so sore. It must be from what I did yesterday. Did you want to do that band workout that I posted the other day? Holy, I don't know why my quads are seasoned. All right, 20 seconds left. Get a few of those pull complex in. 10 seconds. In three, two, and time. All right, good job, everyone. All right, can we do one more? Yes, is the answer to that. All right, you're gonna do an up-down plank. So down in plank position, elbow, elbow, hand, hand. That's one, we're doing that for 10. And then you're flipping it over. I'm actually gonna go super heavy. So my pace might be slower, but I really wanna focus on triceps here. You're gonna move into a tight press, right? So you're here, elbows go wide, palms come turn towards the chest, and then you're pressing straight out. So low and press for 10. All right? <laughs> Get ready. All right, I'm starting with that tape press. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. You can do this from the knees to modify. Here we go. 10, two,
minute left. Stay tuned for a stretch afterwards. One of our movers on one of the comments asked if I would do a stretching cool down after the long workouts. I agree, it's a good idea, so stay tuned for that if you want. All right, here we go. So grab a water and meet me right back here. Okay, here's your final challenge. You're gonna do five burpees, five bench over rows, five shoulder presses, five push-ups. And then we're gonna do four of everything and then three, two, and one, okay? You can do this, right? Let's just do it together. Starting with your five burpees in three. Hey, I'm gonna use eight pound weights. So I'm gonna do the burpee with the weights in my hand. Just Keep them in your hand the whole time if you want to join me on that. Three, two, five burpees. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Five bench over rows. Five, four, three, two, five presses. Up, five, four, three, two, one, five push-ups. However you want to do them. Five, four, three, two, one. Four burpees. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Four rows. One, two, three, four presses. One, two, three, four push-ups. One, two, three, four. Three of everything. Three burpees. Two, uh, three, three rows. One, two, Three, three presses. One, two, three, three push-ups. One, two, three, two of everything. One, two rows, two presses, two push-ups, and then one of everything. Here we go. Go fast, guys. Okay, burpee. Uh, row. Press. Uh, push up. Uh, oh, and done. And curtain. And that is your Saturday morning workout done. Good job, everyone. Let's do a little stretch here. Make sure that you've waited until your heart rate's come down before you drop to the ground. So if you need to walk around a little bit, grab some water, bring it down, pause the video, and then join me when you can. All right, starting with the stretch here. Let's tuck that hand right under, stretching rear delts and your torso, and just bring it down and relax down there. Wow, did we ever do a lot of chest, it feels like, chest and shoulders. I'm not sure how you feel right now. Legs are okay, back is okay, but holy chest and shoulders. Switch sides, tuck that under. Oh, that's good. Well, everyone, 
thought you did a great job. That was uh, intense. But I, I know it's a bit difficult with uh, that type of workout on a video like this because, I, I mean, I can't really talk to you a lot. Maybe you don't care about that. Maybe that's good for you. Let's do a little downward dog here. Stretch the chest. Push your chest towards the ground. Um, yeah, because I'm counting in my head, so I can't lose count, or otherwise uh, I don't know where I'm at. So it's easier when I do just based on time, but that's all right. Let's lie on your side, grab your shoelaces, and I want you to push your hip towards me. I'll push it towards you. You're stretching it through that quad there. Uh, so typically, you know, when I do like a 30 seconds, then you just count your own. You don't have to count. You can just go until the buzzer goes. This workout, you have to count. But hey, we rarely do them, so it's okay to count once in a while, right? Good. Switching sides here. Stretching through the quad again here. So who's been watching the Olympics lately? I'll tell you when Sean White, so I'm Canadian, but uh, we just love ourselves some Olympic USA athletes there like Sean White. I felt nauseous on uh, Tuesday night when we were watching that. Like literally, I felt sick for him as he's up at the top of the pipe, about to go down on his final run. Could get gold, could get silver. All right, come to seated. Let's grab our glute and pull it towards us. My husband and I both sat there and just went, oh, just go already. Like we feel sick just waiting for you. The anticipation of not knowing what he was gonna get. Of course, he did the run of his life, got a gold medal, his third gold in the Olympics, so quite a fantastic story. But what got me the most was when he just ran up to his mom and he's bawling his eyes out. He was so sweet. How sweet was that? Switch legs here. Oh, I had tears in my eyes. I just thought, you know, wouldn't you just die for a moment like that? Like, how do you as an average human who's not an Olympic athlete, I was t asking Quentin, my husband, about this. Like, how, how do we have moments that are so profound like that? That, um, like, can you imagine how alive you feel in that second? There's, there'll be nothing like that feeling for him in his entire life. And it's like captured in a few moments. Like the moment he hears he has gold, let's sit up tall, hands behind, and stretch through the neck here. It's just, I, I want that. I want that moment like that. So I was thinking to myself, I was driving home from work today. I thought, what, what gives me moments like that that are so euphoric and just where you feel alive? I remember my therapist asking me that one time, when's the last time you felt alive? And sit back, stretch here. And uh, I've done quite a bit of public speaking in my life and putting together seminars and workshops on health and wellness. And I, I truly do feel alive when I'm doing that. Uh, like I have a surge of excitement, nerves, anticipation. But when I'm in the pocket, I am in the pocket. And uh, I just, I guess we need to find more moments like that where we can really feel alive. Let's bring an arm across here. Because uh, I think that propels you forward in your life. And then you look for more moments like that. Um, I'm not saying that the valleys are bad, but when you're at the mountaintop, it's, there's nothing like it. So, what can you do? Here's a question for you then. What can you do in your life right now? Or what are you doing that's giving you those moments? Um, one psychologist calls it flow. Actually, there's a book. I'm going to link it below because I, I actually want to read it. I heard it recommended by someone else. And the name of the author is very long, so I'll put that down below too. I'm not going to try to pronounce it here, but... Apparently it's that moment where everything is connecting together, where life is really good, um, all the stars align type of thing, and you feel like alive. And how do you get those moments? How do you stay in the pocket with those moments? How do you move your life towards having more moments like that? Uh, I know that's what I want. I've had many of them and I want many more. I hope that doesn't sound selfish, but uh, I think that's what life's about, is looking for, for moments like that. Of course, it's also being in the, the trenches too and learning from that. I just read that, that book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving Up. And uh, that's necessary as well, is, is having lots of experiences that aren't so positive to create who you are today. 
All right, well, that's enough of that little chit chat. Thanks for joining me. If you like this workout, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you like more workouts that are long like this, like the one hour power hour, go ahead and click or tap the screen right here, 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 or here. We've got lots of them. Now, as always, go and move daily.